Hello everyone, this is Saurav Kumar and I welcome you all to my video series where we are covering the syllabus of Certified Ethical Hacker. Today we have reached to part number 86 where I am going to talk about Operation Security Control. In this particular video, we will be discussing what are the major role or goal of uh, security uh, control people or those who are working at the position of Operation Security. So let's have a look on it. First of all, when we talk about Operation Security and Control, your, uh, you are uh, there you are dedicated that you will be responsible to uh, find out all the security loopholes you will be solving them plus in case something happens if something goes wrong you are also responsible to now recover the data also responsible to retrieve the data plus uh, you make sure you apply the patches or anything so that these things should never happen again in your organization so let's have a look on it what are the basic goal or task of uh, operation security is very first thing you can see from here that they are responsible to take take the backup and restore because as we know once the already data is manipulated once the already the attack has been or uh, already maybe your data gets lost you have only one solution that is to recover it obviously to recover the data you must have taken already backup earlier before the attack has been or before the data has been manipulated or before any disaster has came so first responsibility and very primer, uh, primary responsibility of operation security is going to do the backup and recovery. Similar to backup and recovery, we also have rollback. So the meaning that if you are trying to implement anything new or maybe if you are trying to uh, upgrade or update something, before you do so or before maybe you implement any new changes inside your organization, you must have created any kind of checkpoint or a restore point or maybe snapshot of virtual machines something similar to that so that in case something goes wrong you are you will be able to do the rollback so this is the two major tasks which uh, you supposed to be uh, knowing and doing that is backup and recovery and rollback so that if anything already happens if already disaster happen how you are going to recover the data Secondly, he will be also responsible to do the audit trials. So after some periodic interval or after some periodic time gap, he must be or she must be doing the auditing where you will be able to find out what has happened in last previous few days or few months. Uh, for example, if somebody has given some uh, security admin has given somebody more uh, power or privilege and then they have reduced it. But during that period of time, what are the changes has been done by the uh, user? Those kind of thing you will be only able to check by going through the log files and to check the log files that is what we can call it as a auditing also so if you do the set if you schedule your audit after some period of time that will be the best method to getting to know what is ha what has happened till now or what are the possibility which has been tried by any of the attacker or hacker or any security concerns Next point is operation procedure. The meaning that whatever you are now planning to implement something, you must be following a proper procedure that, for example, uh, any programmer has came and uh, decided that we are going to implement the new version of our program which we have developed. But before he update, he must consult to his senior who is going to check everything, who is going to check the bugs, who is going to create a restore point, who is also going to make sure that this change will not have any vulnerability to being attacked by somebody so after going through that then it goes to the change control uh, team change control team decide that uh, what kind of uh, maybe minimum requirement do we need for this updated version uh, what can uh, effect when did we do the update each our system or whatever service we are running on the system are they uh, somehow having the good kind of you know uh, compatibility with the operating system so those all things supposed to be checked before you do any operation so operation procedure has to be followed properly next is business continuity you are also responsible to make sure that the company wherever you are working their business should always keep running so obviously to make sure that business should keep running there should be no any place where from every data is lost and now business is gone down so for that obviously to do 
डू द कॉन्टीजेंसी प्लानिंग और बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी द मेथड यू कैन अगेन यूज दैट इज बैकअप एंड रिकवरी एंड रॉल बैक सो दैट बिजनेस शुड नॉट स्टॉप एट एनी कंडीशन वट एवर हैपन वट एवर डिजास्टर हैपन सो वी हैव ऑल्सो इवेंट टॉक्ट अबाउट दैट मे बी यू आर टेकिंग अ बैकअप ट्राई टू कीप द बैकअप एट अ डिफरेंट लोकेशन सो दैट मे बी इवन बिग डिजास्टर कम्स लाइक अर्थ क्वेक और फ्लड और फायर दोज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स कैन बी ऑल्सो रिकवर्ड बिकॉज योर बैकअप इज स्टोर्ड समवेयर इल्स एंड इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू हैव द फायर इन द बिल्डिंग वेयर यू सर्वर इज एंड द फायर इन द डिफरेंट कंट्री और मे बी डिफरेंट जोन वेयर योर बैकअप इज सो दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू प्लान इट सो दैट बिजनेस कंटिन्यूटी कैन कीप मूविंग नेक्स्ट इज यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट द आई डी एस और आई पी एस सिस्टम सो दैट वट एवर ट्रैफिक इज कमिंग एंड गोइंग आउट इट कैन बी प्रॉपरली फिल्टर्ड चेकड वेरीफाइड एंड इट मेक्स योर दैट नो एनी सच काइंड ऑफ मे बी मालवेयर और मे बी एनी मेलेसियस काइंड ऑफ अ स्क्रिप्ट इज कमिंग इन टू योर नेटवर्क और गोइंग आउट फ्रॉम योर नेटवर्क नेक्स्ट इज यू शुड ऑल्सो कन्फिगर सम काइंड ऑफ मोनिटर एलर्ट देर आर सो मेनी नंबर ऑफ मोनिटरिंग टूल्स आर अवेलेबल मोनिटरिंग सॉफ्टवेयर are available monitoring hardware devices are available so you can implement such kind of thing and your also responsibility is to keep monitoring the log file which is being generated by the monitoring software or monitoring hardware devices next is change control like for example if you uh, anybody in your company is planning to change upgrade the version or they are tr- trying to add any new application for the company any change whatever is going to happen there has to be a proper control system where you must be having a group of people one person should not be in a change control system otherwise uh, he can do whatever he wants so better idea is in the change control board room kind of environment has to be there where you have more than three four people and when everybody agree with any kind of change then only the change supposed to be implemented then the next is documentation of each change that is very nice uh, because for example if you are making a document of every change let's say that uh, you did a changes in january month and you uh, noted down that okay this change has been done in january maybe attack will not happen directly in january itself maybe it will happen in february maybe it will happen in march so at least you will get some idea that okay in january this was the change has been and in march the maybe hack was uh, there because of this change so uh, making a document will give you a proper idea plus if any employee leave your organization and new employee comes he will have a proper document to under understand what has been implemented in your network what are the changes has been ever done and if maybe any changes has been implemented uh, is there any possibility uh, was it happen sometime that they have rolled it back because of some problem so those all idea you will have and which will make you uh, kind of more uh, kind of it will give you a strength to think about your next few year that in last few year whatever the changes we did what has happened because of what so it gives you a proper record plus it gives you a strength to think about next few year then we have uh, also talked about separation of duty that is very mandatory thing and then as i told you separation of duty also uh, increase the chances of security and decrease the chances of any kind of fraud or any kind of bad activity for example your in your company whoever is uh, uh, let's say that security admin whoever is security admin that guy security admin guy should not be allowed to do any kind of uh, maybe uh, database input so it should not be having a uh, permission to do any database input otherwise he will create the user for himself and uh, or maybe he will add some uh, script inside of the database and he ha- he know already how to bypass and everything so uh, separation of duty means one person should be responsible for very limited area then another person should be uh, limited for another area for example um, a guy who is working in let's say that uh, security admin he should not be a member of active directory domain he should not be controlling active directory also those who are ma- making active directory control or maybe those who are uh, looking for security admin they should not be a part of uh, let's say that those who are doing active directory they should not be pa- part of a team who is managing maybe firewall otherwise in the firewall he will add a rule that this particular port you let him pass and then from active directory he will maybe uh, manipulate all the data or he will transfer the data to 
to uh, some of the another attacker so separation of duty is very mandatory even in separation of duty when we talk about uh, whatever your uh, group of people you have where you guys are taking a decision everybody should be present there and without having a proper uh, kind of agreement between all of them no any new changes supposed to be implemented in the organization then we have also talked about already mandatory vacation uh, after some period of time you must give any of the employee on a mandatory vacation that okay you go enjoy for 10 days that 10 days you are not allowed to uh, get in touch with any of the other employee of the same company or you will not be able to uh, come inside the company so that 10 days he will be completely disconnected from your organization and you can place somebody else on behalf of him to sit on his chair to sit on his uh, place so that he can go on and he can go through all the process what he has done in previous days he can check what are the responsibility he has and is he fulfilling all those responsibility or not so this is how the mandatory vacation can also be very very helpful for those people who are working in a operation security department then we have to uh, last but final thing is we have to make a kind of table like this where we are going to judge or where we are going to make sure that what kind of uh, security we have implemented or what kind of functionality we are having these, these are the functionality preventive avoid detective discover deterrent discourage recovery corrective so these are some of the function what up to function you have set your security like for example physical security physical security means who can easily uh, come inside your server room or maybe who can access your firewall physically or who can reach up to your board room so those physical security you can set up to the condition of avoid also like for example you are putting a lock that is a kind of avoid if you are putting a lock and you are only sharing the key with those people who are allowed so this is kind of avoid then you can also set some discover maybe you are having some a scanning uh, device implemented on a physical security base like you have a metal detector and those kind of kind of things or maybe uh, you are having on the door you have implemented a kind of thumb print so that if you put your thumb if you are authorized or authenticated then only you will be allowed to go in so those kind of uh, thing you can put it as a discover and discourage is something similar like avoid for example on the gate if you see a kind of lock what does it do if you are a thief obviously it discourage you it, it let you think that oh there is a lock maybe i will not be able to go in but that is just a discourage it is not a void or it is not a stopping you because uh, uh, maybe thief can go and he can break the lock and go in so a lock is just to discourage the things similarly here we can also set some condition which can just discourage or which can avoid somehow or which we can use to discover the guy and the last is restore if already attack happens what are the restore option you have if already physically somebody goes in what is the next so we are having three type of control we can have physical control where you are uh, talking about physically how and which person is going to allow to go inside the room or touch the server or touch the firewall connect the cable with the switches those kind of thing then administrative control which you are going to do like a soft control means you are going to set some kind of um, administrative roles responsibility and all those kind of things and the last is technically or logical control like if you are implementing ids if you are implementing ips if you are implementing firewall so these kind of things is going to be logical control if you set access control list if you set mac filtering so those all will be coming in the category of logical control or technical control so by implementing such kind of control like physical administrative or technical with the functionality of avoid discover discourage and restore it will make your uh, network it will make your company more secure and that is what actually the task of operate operation security team is so in this video i have tried to uh, demonstrate i have tried to uh, explain about what are the roles and responsibility can be for a operation security department or those who are working in operation security administrative role so uh, i think this video was informative for you all and i would like to thank you for watching